In this video, I'm going to help you find your online persona by using human design. I'm Amanda Horvath and I help eliminate the obstacles to getting you sitting where I'm sitting right now in front of the camera, sharing your message with the world. So if you're ready to start that video show you've always been dreaming of, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. So human design is a personality test. I've previously covered it on this channel. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link to that video in the cards as well as my quick start guide to human design linked in the description below. In this video specifically, I want to dive into one specific part of your chart and that is called your profile. This is the number that when you're looking at your chart is going to look like a fraction. So this could be a one three, it could be a four six, it could be a four one, it could be a six two. So look at your chart and figure out which one it is. And we're going to use that to dive on in to your online persona. Part one, researcher versus marketer. Your profile in human design is the role that you're here to play. And there are two different types, or it's broken into two different categories. You have your lower trigram profiles, and these are individuals that are here for personal destiny. They are going to find something, learn something, investigate, learn through trial and error, whatever it is, and then they are going to use that information mostly to determine things for themselves. And then the upper trigram is individuals who will learn something, but then immediately take it out and share it with others. And this is the transpersonal side of things. So another way to look at it is that the lower trigram individuals are the researchers of the world. They're here to collect information, discover things, and then they pass that off to the upper trigram individuals who are then going to take it out into the world and market it. Now I want to point out one profile is a mixture between the two and this is only 2% of the population and that is a 4-1 profile because they are the bridge between the two worlds. So if you're a 4-1 profile, hello my friend, I am also a 4-1 profile. So go ahead and drop that in the comments below. I would be curious to know that, but you're going to kind of dance between the two worlds, being a researcher and taking out into the world. Now, whether you are a lower trigram or an upper trigram profile, it doesn't mean that if you're a researcher, then you are only meant to live in a dark room and not have an online persona. This is something to experiment with. So this is just the role that you're here to play in life. You're here to be a researcher. That doesn't necessarily mean that you can't have an online presence and share that information with other people. It just means that you're more so going to research for yourself and sharing that information might be sharing it more from the personal perspective rather than from the transpersonal where you're taking it out and sharing it with other people. Now, if you are an upper trigram individual, then I would really give you an extra little push to building an online presence because it is the role that you're here to play. You are meant to take things out to other individuals. Now, one more quick note here. This is my interpretation of the information. If you study human design and, and see it in a different way, please go ahead and drop your comments below. Let's have this be an engaging place where we can all learn from one another. Part two, lines. There are 12 different profiles in human design and they are made up of two numbers. The first number is what you are conscious of having. And this is the line that I would really recommend honing in on as I go through each of these six lines, because that's the one that you're conscious of having. Now the second number in yours, you are unconscious of having. So this is usually something that other people see in you, but you might not resonate with it as much yourself. I want to point out as well that the first line is going to dictate which trigram you are in, whether that is the upper or lower. So pay attention to what your first number is, and we're now going to move through them sequentially from one to six. And when that second profile comes along or that second number comes along, just pay attention to it as well and see how you might subconsciously relate to it, but then really hone in, I would say, on the first number. Line one. If your profile is either a 1-3 or a 1-4, then you fall underneath the investigator category. And this is the online persona that I would really push you to 
look to embrace and think about how this shows up in your life. And I'd love to hear about this in the comment section below as well as we do. So the investigator is someone that is constantly looking to find a solid foundation in life and they are constantly investigating. So this could be reading books, listening to podcasts, going out and taking tons of online courses, or, and each person has a different way of investigating, right? But it's really about digging into the knowledge and going deep into something. So for your online persona, you can incorporate this into that. So you are an investigator that is going out to research X, Y, and Z. And that might give you a direction for how to show up online. Line two. If you either are a 2-4 or 2-5 profile, then you are a hermit or also known as the natural. So let's cover both sides of those and what it looks like. So as a two, you love to kind of escape into hermit mode, right? And do things on your own. And unlike the one line that is constantly searching for a foundation, you kind of have a natural foundation already established and you have natural gifts and abilities that you like to explore in your hermit mode. Now, the obstacle with a hermit is that they might hide away and other people won't be able to see the gifts and abilities that they have. So by developing an online persona where you're just sharing your natural gifts, you're not necessarily teaching how to do it, you're just teaching the experience of kind of going into that hermit mode and exploring those gifts for yourself. And in doing that, other people are going to recognize these gifts that you have and call you out of hermit mode and give you new opportunities, which will lead to an expanded reality of what is possible in your life. Lion three. If you are a 3-5 or 3-6, then you fall underneath the person that lives in trial and error. You learn everything through experimentation. So your online persona should be related to experimenting with whatever it is that you're interested in. So you cannot learn any other way. You are going to experience a lot of failures in your life. A lot of people will see them as failures. However, it's just a matter of you learning something. So don't be afraid to share the, the times that you think that you're going to succeed at something and then you fall short. Have your online persona be about that experimentation. Line four. If you are a 4-6 or a 4-1, then you, my friend, are a community builder. The four line means that you have all of your opportunities come through your network. And this is something to reflect upon. It's really, really fascinating whenever you grasp this. Now, I am a four line, I am a 4-1, and we're gonna talk about the difference really quickly about the 4-6 and the 4-1 in just a second. But if you really start to focus on, wow, you know what? I don't impact strangers. I really impact my network. And if you focus there, instead of trying to go out and impact strangers, then your online persona will have more of an impact because this is just the role that you're here to play. So you're here to be that community builder, figure out what the community around you needs and start focusing on developing content that is going to resonate with those individuals instead of once again, trying to do this to strangers. Now I wanna point out real quick the difference between the 4-6 and the 4-1. So as a 4-6, you're the researcher of the world and you have a personal destiny that you're here to fulfill. So the things that you are going to talk about are still related to what is valuable to you you're then going out and you're sharing that with your community and new opportunities will be coming to you through that community. Now with the 4-1, you start to kind of walk between two worlds. Once again, being that bridge that bridges the gap between the researchers and the marketers. So you can kind of play in both worlds. What has benefited you personally in life and how do you take that out and help others implement that within their life as well? Line five, if you are either a 5-1 or a 5-2, your role in life is to universalize a body of knowledge to strangers. So unlike the four line who is here to impact their audience, you are here to take something that you've really looked at 
and found solutions in and take that out and make a big impact to strangers. And this is where it really starts to get fun in terms of your online persona because you have the opportunity to be a very big name because you do impact strangers. Now I wanna point out at this point that your profile is not something that you necessarily have to work to understand in human design. There are some elements that you will have to. So look at your life right now. What kind of body of knowledge do you take and make in a clear way or explain in a clear way to others in your life? This could give you insight into what your online persona could be about. I have one final note for you line fives out there, and that is that you have a projection field. People are going to project onto you what they want to see, and so this can be a little frustrating for you because it might not match who you, how you want to be perceived. So knowing that this is something that will happen can help you just reduce resistance overall and allow it to be the case. You are here to impact strangers and this projection field kind of allows you to do that. So recognize it, see when it does happen, but don't beat yourself up about it if you're trying to avoid it from happening. Line six. If you are a 6'2 or a 6'3, you are here to be a role model to the world. Now there is a catch to this in that your role model won't really start until after your Saturn return, which will happen around 32. And sometimes it takes a little bit more time for that to click into place. So maybe 35, you might start clicking over to this role model. So if you're younger than that, I would look at line three, which is about trial and error and start there with your online persona. And then once you have enough trial and error, then you will kind of transition over into this role model category. Now, if you have moved beyond your Saturn return, then you can really own this role model element of yourself and have your online persona go around that. Now, the kind of overview of the six is you're at the upper trigram. You've gone through all of the number numbers. You kind of have the wisdom of the rest of the numbers and what we call, at least for the six two, you're kind of a fool on the hill. You're sitting there, you already know a lot of things that other people are still trying to figure out and you don't really need to have that same energy of needing to search and research that maybe the one line does or others that are below you. So just live your life, capture the life that you're living and let that be a role model to others and, and have that expand out into the world. I would love to hear if this is resonating with you. What profile are you and what are you walking away with from this video? Has it given you further clarity? Go ahead and drop your comments below. I would love to continue the dialogue in that. And if you have not already dove deep into your human design, then I cannot recommend watching my quick start guide to human design enough. This is life-changing information and it truly is something to look into. So I will link to that in the description below and I'll see you there.